Mr. White. Mr. White? Yes. You all know what these shows are about, even if you've never seen them. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most parodied TV shows. Jimmy, I'm afraid it's bad news. You only have six months. Only six more months? We're taking a look at various television shows that have been parodied to death over the years. Let's get to it. Number 10, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones was the hottest show of the decade, so naturally it's been parodied to death. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. Both The Simpsons and Family Guy have gotten in on the action, referencing the show's overproduced opening theme, which The Simpsons did on two separate occasions, the excessive nudity and Sam's boring storyline. Peter's words, not ours. Late night shows have also jumped on the bandwagon, with Jimmy Fallon doing Game of Desks and Seth Meyers doing skits with Kit Harington. Spring is officially sprung. <laughs> Winter is coming. But really, chances are that literally every aspect of the show has been parodied at some point. But it's mostly the sex. People really like making fun of the sex position. Number 9. Cops Cops has been a mainstay on TV for decades, and it is absolutely perfect for parody. What with the documentary format and hilarious criminals. All suspects are presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Of course, the thing most often parodied is the Bad Boys theme song. The Jay Leno show used this as a gag to show fast food mascots being arrested, and it was referenced in the Scott's Tots episode of The Office. Scott, what you gonna do? What you gonna do in the country? Hey, in the Tuscan, what you gonna do? Please stop. Another notable example is Shrek 2, as the show's documentary style is copied for the capture and arrest of our heroes. Of course, the biggest and most popular parody is Reno 911, a Comedy Central satire based entirely around the format and premise of cops. Number 8, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, and CSI Miami. CSI isn't really parodied so much as it is memed to death, so parodied in a way, we suppose. Zoom and Enhance is a popular one, as this franchise sometimes employed that ridiculous trope. But of course, the most popular meme is the yeah heard in the opening credits, often preceded by a cheesy pun of some sort. The endless forensic montages are another source of parody, as are the scenes of a character kneeling over a corpse and rattling off pieces of information. They're fun shows, but they're also a little silly. Luckily, they never took themselves too seriously, so the producers are probably just laughing along with the rest of us. Number 7. The Bachelor and The Bachelorette Even though The Bachelor and The Bachelorette have been going strong since the early 2000s, we don't think anyone would call them high art. It might be time to say goodbye. I just keep heading in the wrong direction with all these women. I wish nothing but the best for you. Or even art for that matter. Countless comedians and shows have pounced on the kitschy format over the years. Saturday Night Live has spoofed them on numerous occasions, and the whole rose ceremony has been parodied by the likes of South Park and Jay Leno. The Simpsons also did a gag show called Promiscuous Idiots Island, and Family Guy devoted an entire episode to Brian appearing on the show and getting his heart broken once he realizes that it's all scripted. Well, it was great working with you, Brian. Good luck. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? What, 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 what about us? Oh, stop it. It's just TV. Number 6. Jeopardy Jeopardy is a national treasure, and arguably the greatest game show of all time. But even that doesn't stop it from being mocked. This is Jeopardy! Here are today's contestants. In a loving way, of course. One popular parody is Black Jeopardy from Saturday Night Live, which has been performed by the likes of Drake, Elizabeth Banks, and Tom Hanks. Family Guy is also a huge fan of Jeopardy gags, and Alex Trebek even appeared as himself in one of the cutaways. It was the first spacecraft to land on the surface of Mars. Adam, what was your response? Kebert Zella. And finally, how many times have you heard the joke, I'll take whatever for 200, Alex? What is jokes we've heard a million times? That's how many. Number five, Survivor. It is gonna be one hell of a show today. Survivor's ready, go! Back in the day, Survivor was the reality show to watch. 
And much like Game of Thrones today, its incredible popularity led to endless parodies and references. In its prime, you could find Survivor references on Whose Line Is It Anyway, Family Guy, The Simpsons, SNL, and even the music video for Eminem's Without Me. Seriously, you could not escape it, even if you just wanted to watch a music video. Even now, you can find spoofs in numerous pieces of entertainment, including Jimmy Fallon, where they did a Trump Family Edition, and Grand Theft Auto V, which contained an in-game show called Rehab Island. Wanna know what you're playing for? <laughs> Bucket of fried chicken. And yes, both Family Guy and The Simpsons are still going to the Survivor well. Number 4. Baywatch You all know the scene. A character, usually a female, can be seen running in slow motion as their breasts bounce up and down. You've seen it a thousand times before, and it comes directly from the 90s phenomenon that was Baywatch. In it, Pamela Anderson played C.J. Parker, and let's just say that she didn't become popular for her acting skills. The show is so ingrained in pop culture that it's even been spoofed in children's movies and shows like the SpongeBob SquarePants movie and The Fairly Odd Parents. Oh no, how will we ever get back to Bikini Bottom now? It was even parodied in the Baywatch movie, as the iconic run was turned into a joke when Zac Efron fell to the ground and flailed around in the sand. Number 3. Law & Order Police procedurals are a dime a dozen, and they've been endlessly mocked over the years. But none are quite as influential or as popular as NBC's Law & Order. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. Even if you've never seen the show, you undoubtedly recognize the famous black and red logo and the iconic dun-dun theme. This has been parodied in Chappelle Show, Family Guy, and BoJack Horseman, just to name a few. Long after its conclusion, the show is still being parodied. Brooklyn Nine-Nine did Serve and Protect, Scream Queens referenced the show's signature opening, and Community devoted an entire episode to spoofing the show and its traits. Like we said, when it comes to police procedurals, few are as pop culture infused as Law & Order. Greendale Community College is represented by two separate yet equally important types of people. The goofballs that run around stirring up trouble, and the eggheads that make a big deal out of it. Number 2. Star Trek The Original Series Very few shows in this world have reached the level of Star Trek. We don't really need to tell you how influential it is, just know that it's so popular and influential that it's been parodied for over 50 years. It's like when Spock had to fight Kirk on Star Trek. Best friends forced to do battle. Dun, 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 dun. According to IMDb, Star Trek has been spoofed in hundreds of films and TV shows since the late 60s, going all the way back to The Carol Burnett Show. Virtually every aspect of the show has been spoofed, including the iconic red and yellow outfits, the schlocky alien costumes, William Shatner's voice and narration, and especially the famous fight at Vasquez Rocks. Really, you've probably seen the entirety of the show based on parodies alone. In 1966, a series called Star Trek would change television forever, but in its third and final season, the quality faded quicker than the solstice moon. Uh, uh. I don't need to have watched Star Trek to know how awesome it is. I got the parodies for that. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You forget about something? You forget about old Barb? Nancy's friend sitting on the diving board. I thought it was inspired. Why do you keep saying stuff like that to me? <laughs> Just to watch your face turn that color. Sir, we need to talk about the jokes for tonight's monologue. Should we talk about them in your office, which is right there and extremely convenient? I don't know. I feel like it'd be more visually compelling if we walk and talk. Okay, your stepmom, who is his mother, yes. his birth mother, and the wife of his dad, yes. wife of your dad, uh, her name is uh, Marion. She's here. Let's bring her out. Wow, pretty serious stuff. Where is he now? Um, he's like cryogenically frozen, orbiting the Earth or something. That's what you think. Ah! A plane crash! Wait a minute, that flashback raised more questions than it answered. It's not just a money, it's a pride thing. All our food, P. 
pizza, calzone, buffalo mozzarella, olive oil. And Italy before pasta. Hey! Oh! Foul sound! They were always a ridiculous people. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Twilight Zone This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone is an undeniable classic. Much like Star Trek, Twilight Zone spoofs go as far back as the 60s, when it was heavily referenced in an episode of The Dick Van Dyke Show. Since then, it's been spoofed in things as diverse as SNL, Tiny Toon Adventures, SpongeBob, and Good Morning Vietnam. I told you, things always get weird in the title zone. Most of these parodies address the opening credits and Rod Serling's iconic narration, although some directly spoof the episodes themselves, like when Peter Griffin's last remaining brain cell drops his glasses. Even to this day, entire spoof episodes are being made, such as American Dad's Rabbit Ears from 2019. When it comes to horror, few things are as seminal or as influential as The Twilight Zone. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. What did you guys think of our list? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.